So now that you know the ingredients that make up a holotropic breathwork burger, I mean workshop, now I can explain how bipolar breathwork is a little different. It's important to understand that people with bipolar disorder or other serious mental disorders are not recommended to do holotropic breathwork, and the simple reason for that is, well, they need more. And more of what exactly? To start, more time. Bipolar breathwork is only done in a private retreat format that we have on the Bipolar Awakenings Healing Retreat. As opposed to holotropic breathwork, which can happen in one day, our retreats are usually 10 days in length. While some retreats are shorter, the 10-day format helps to ensure that the client gets the most out of our precious time together, and it also seems to be as much time as people can handle. Having time is important because with people with bipolar disorder, there is a chance that they can go into a deeply healing process that may take more time than the standard three hours of a holotropic breathwork session. In order to work through a more complex disorder, they will also need more time in breathwork in general. While a typical holotropic workshop includes one or two breathwork sessions per person in a group, on our Bipolar Awakenings Healing Retreat, People do as many as 10 breathwork sessions in 10 days. More safety. Additional safety comes in a number of ways. Along with a medical form, we give each potential client an initial one-hour consultation, followed up by a detailed questionnaire that covers their life history and aptitude for the type of work we do. This step is important because our retreat process is not for everyone, and we need to ensure that it's a good investment for each potential client. In addition, while doing bipolar breathwork on the retreat, we try to create a very large padded space for our client to go wild. If the work is done at our location in Brazil, we can have more than 12 yoga mats and cushions arranged for your protection. At minimum, one double mattress is used depending on the location. This is in contrast to one or two thin yoga mats that are usually used in larger group workshops for holotropic breathwork. For women, a female supporter should always be present, and it's recommended that a female staff member is hired as well. In many instances, traumatic issues related to men arise during breath work, so it's important that we have a female present for an increased sense of safety and connection. More care. As opposed to a holotropic breath work session where your facilitator's attention will be divided among a group, with bipolar breath work you have the undivided attention of a Groff certified facilitator namely me, Sean Blackwell. Plus, during bipolar breathwork, your sitter will be your own personal support, who would be a close friend, family member, or experienced staff. Having people with you that you're very familiar with and who have extensive experience in non ordinary states brings a level of care to our work that simply cannot be matched in a group environment. More flexibility. In a holotropic breathwork workshop, there's a standard format that the entire group needs to follow. In our retreat environment, we can use bipolar breathwork in a completely flexible way, with the client also being part of the decision process regarding whether or not they should breathe. If a client tells me that they're not ready, we simply wait until they are, or we do some other activity. Clients also have the final word in how long they breathe, so they can stop whenever they want. More help. Every person has emotional repression and trauma which impacts their lives. When you have a mental disorder, that amount of unconscious material has reached a point where you can no longer keep it locked up in the basement of your psyche. Some of this material can even be too difficult to face for the most courageous person. But imagine if someone else, a helper, could work through some of that material for you so that you didn't have to face it all alone. It would certainly make the healing process faster and easier, right? Well, it took a few years of retreats for me to discover that, actually, this was possible. You see, what Stan Groff identified as the inner healer, the psyche's own natural healing intelligence, is actually more like a healing field. And that healing field can share the unconscious material of repressed pain, anger, sadness, and trauma to anyone who is prepared to take on the material. Now, because this approach is so radical and controversial, the number of people prepared to take on and work through the unconscious material of others is very limited. However, I personally believe that working as a energy surrogate, as I call it, is not such a special talent. Rather, I see it as a natural part of human evolution, which is latent in all humans. 
In practice, being an energy surrogate for a client simply means that I'll be there to help you during your breathwork process because the healing field will send me some of your energies for me to work through. And if you hadn't guessed, I'll be processing these energies using the same bipolar breathwork approach that you'll be using. The only difference is that I'll be breathing in a session soon after your session has been completed. These clear out sessions, as I call them, where I work through your energies using bipolar breathwork are a fundamental part of our process. They help you process your unconscious traumatic material more quickly and easily. And they also help me stay energized and fresh for your entire retreat. In truth, I realized that I needed to do these clear out sessions because without them, I would get easily moody, drained, or worst of all, I'd be having terrible nightmares related to the material the client was struggling with. Once I started doing bipolar breathwork after my client, the nightmares went away and I was feeling much better. So if you're skeptical about the level of woo-woo around this energy surrogate work with its clear-out sessions, just remember that the sessions help me stay in good spirits for your retreat. And lastly, more privacy. It's common for a typical holotropic breathwork workshop to happen in a busy hotel where there are other people around that have nothing to do with the workshop. As I already mentioned, in our retreat format, you'll be the only client at our location with no other person at the retreat other than your team. Now, there's a lot that goes into having a private retreat location, so please check out my video on our location here in Brazil where I highlight the wonderful small hotel that we rent for international clients who come to Brazil for an excellent retreat experience. So to sum up, how is bipolar breathwork different from holotropic breathwork? More time, more safety, more care, more flexibility, more help, and more privacy. So with all that explained, there is one more thing missing before we can start to do bipolar breathwork, and that's you. What exactly will you experience during bipolar breathwork? That's up in our next video.